I don't know if this is real or not. I don't follow Joe. I don't know if this is real or not, but at that time I was told X to be on a satellite radio. And it would it would they were concerned about the satellite radio, you know, people you know, the general population going, Hey, wait a minute, a lot of drug dealers rely on Joe Rogan to tell children to do drugs. They were like, uh uh-uh. uh. It'll fuck up with the contract. It'll change some shit. Yep. And um, I don't know if that came, like I said, I don't know if it was from him personally, but his representatives or whatever were like, you'd be a great story for, I mean, literally, they're like, he's had David Goggins on his show. They were literally trying to wound me. They're like, David yeah. Goggins has been on Joe Rogan, Martin. You know, there's all like, you, you, you'll, you'll be in, you'll be famous. You, you know, all, all kinds of women will, will, will know your name. And I mean, literally, they were like, all yeah. kinds of women, but you can't be talking about, you know, the drug dealers that actually rely on. You want to talk about what you want to talk about. You don't want to be limited to. Yeah. And I was like, I don't, if I was to go on Joe Rogan, the only thing I want to talk about is how literally I put together a few hundred children literally saying I did acid for the first time. I did DMT for the first time. Yeah, he talks about that Joe, stuff a lot. Well, literally I got over a hundred children under 16 years of age. Over a hundred boys saying they did acid and DMT because of Joe Rogan. Yeah, I wanted so my first thing for I was like, if I'm going to go on Joe Rogan, can I play these videos first? People can watch a hundred youth say they took psychedelics, they took DMT because Joe Rogan did, told them to do so. And I'm I'm going to say because how much money do drug cartels, terrorist organizations make off of Joe Rogan doing that? And yeah. they were like, no, I didn't like think no. about that. You didn't- into my eyes though. Yeah, they were like, fuck no, Martin. No. <laughs> it turned into a big it turned into a big stink. Because I was like, because I'm like me when I'm going, I'm like Joe Rogan. I was like, like wanna make something popular? I'll I'll have a hundred boys under 16 years old talk about how they did psychedelics, DMT, LSD, and shit like that for the first time because Joe Rogan told him it was so great. Yeah, he's very positive then, about that on the show. But then like, so then, but, Hold on. And then I said, now we want to talk about now that we've seen these kids buy drugs because Joe Rogan sensationalized them. Who did they buy the drugs from? Let's track it. I was like, real life. Let's figure out where these kids bought drugs at the the advice of Joe Rogan. They get it from the police department, the fire department. They get it from who they get it from. Drug dealers. Right. And they were like, they were talking, literally there's some shit about the contracts negotiations for some satellite shit because I, I don't know if that's even real because as far as I know I did Joe Rogan on Instagram and YouTube but at that time they were like oh Joe Rogan's satellite contract da, 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 negotiations it'll fuck everything up for money because I mean you think about it in real life you start having uh, you said a hundred kids I want a hundred boys going on Joe Rogan talking under 16 saying how they bought that's a hundred parents going my, my fucking kid did psychedelics. My kids did DNA. Because my of kid did drugs. <laughs> so a hundred parents would go, I need to call the cops, figure out where my kid got these drugs. The cops investigate, like he bought a bunch of drugs because of Joe Rogan. You're so, you, Joe, the cartel has the money to kill officers today because of Joe Rogan. Yeah. The, I, didn't, the, like, the, I, I really did not think about that. Yeah, you think about where did, a cartel needs Joe Rogan to tell you to buy DMT so they can have bullets to shoot at soldiers, dude, don't they? Yep. A cartel, right? Now, uh, 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 I, a, a criminal organization, they need you to buy drugs from them so they can buy the weapons they need to shoot at police officers, don't they? Yep. So they spread all this pos- or, or, uh, false positive information about how it's going to show you something or do something for you. But in reality, it's just for them. But yeah, that was right. my thing. My thing is like I'll have a hundred boys talk about actually doing dr- hard drugs for the first time because of Joe Rogan's recommendation, and then we should figure out because it's like it's a podcast. He likes to investigate things. Let's investigate where those where that money went. <laughs> On and his podcast, like, yeah. And people were like, "No," because it goes back to people who use the money to kill officers and soldiers. Yeah, they don't want to expose those people. <laughs> They're like no, a lot of a lot of police officers are murdered today. Because Joe Rogan provided the, the, the customers for those criminal organizations to, to, to have yep. the weapons they need. And it was a bit, they were like, fuck no, Martin. <laughs> like you can talk about, they were like, you can talk about religion. I, mean, I don't want to talk about religion. 
I don't want to talk about religion. I want to talk about a uh, uh, hundred videos of children under 16 years old taking hard drugs for the first time because Joe Rogan sensationalized it. And yep. then, Fuck no. You can't have we can't have Joe Rogan telling everybody. Here's here's my customer base I've created for Cyrus uh you know, whatever. Then we're buying drugs so that cartels can have the weapons they need to kill more soldiers, more officers. It, so it, do you it, think it, he's it doing like that a, on purpose? Do you think No, I don't. I now we're getting somewhere. I a, don't shitty management. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Now we're getting somewhere. He, I don't think he's doing it on purpose. I think who's ever in charge of his advertising. Uh, yeah, I get what you're saying now. The the top of the chain, the top of the. Yeah. Chain. I, like he's somebody in he's his group. He's just a cog. He's a cog in the machine. Now we're getting somewhere. He's a yep. cog in the wheel. But I'll tell you what. Uh, you know, whatever his contract is, because you know he, his his fuck you money. <laughs> cartels are making that every month off of him. Yep. But I don't, as I, I tried to explain, I don't think he's doing it on purpose. I think somebody's he utilizing him. Now we're getting somewhere. And whoever reached out to me to get me on the show probably knew that he would, they're like, he doesn't know that. And we don't <laughs> want him to know that. Yeah. So like, can you imagine, we don't, we don't want the host of our podcast to know he's supplying cartels and, and, and criminal organizations with the customers they need to get am they need to have money so they can buy more ammunition more more terror you know fueling that shit we we can't have him knowing that basically is how it came across to me so i was like fuck you guys in i have a meltdown I'm like fuck you because ah! <laughs> i want him to stop approaching me Do you think that um they the government is stalling on legalization of marijuana because they want the money to go to the cartel no, not at all. Now, now the government, if you actually pay attention to the shadows, needs to, wants to legalize marijuana. It's pharmaceutical yeah. companies that don't. Now, in real life, so you're asking about the legalization of marijuana. The, the, Depart the Department of Veterans Affairs is one of the biggest transfers of American wealth to other countries. Prescription medication from soldiers. Per big pharma, per Western medicine, if marijuana becomes legalized for a medication, for neurological problems and things like that. There's going to be it, less customers it, for. 50% of the profit they make off the American military. Billions of dollars. Billions of dollars of lost money. If that, that's all. Right now, the, the government is not, is not saying anything about you know ah, it's it's literally pharmaceutical companies yeah a farm, like literally a pharmaceutical company is going look if you guys legalize marijuana my company will lose five billion dollars in sales off the pain and misery or the money we make off of wounded soldiers i would rather there be wounded soldiers so we can continue our profits it's unfortunate yeah yeah all right, Mark, I got to go. Uh, my phone's about to die, but thanks for talking. No problem. Bye. You were on yesterday, you have a question, go live real quick, and then I got to go. Yo, Martin, what's up? Not much. How are you doing? Good. How are Hoorah! You? Who's raw? Anyways, what's your question, sir? Um, So I was looking at some of your videos, and I saw a video of you talking about how um your cousin blew him and his family up. Is that true? Fucking trolls.
So you guys are asking about Susan Powell. You should ask her parents about having people beaten and raped and tortured so that they just listen. Susan Powell's dad, just to listen. Not because you're a bad person. He tells his son-in-law to do something. You better fucking do it or you will be beaten and tortured. He got men that beat and torture people. He's got men that murder people. Cold fucking blooded. We will beat the shit out of you if you don't fall in line. We let kids record him telling me I need to fall in line. And if I didn't, men showed up to beat and torture me. It's what it is. He literally gave out orders so that I could be beaten and tortured because I wouldn't listen to what he was saying. It, you know, I, I, he's not my boss. He's not my boss. I don't have to listen to you. Right? I don't, I don't need to associate with somebody who aids in the betting of rape and torture. Fucking cop killers. You imagine that? Susan Powell's parents covering up the murder of cops with other cops helping him because they don't fucking know what's going on. It's almost as if there's millions of dollars at stake. It's almost as if there's a lot of money at stake. I'm voting for Martin Cabello, King of the North. <laughs> This is going to be quick. Uh, it's 1224. Hey, hey, Martin. How you doing, sir? Um, I'm doing great. Um, how are, what are your opinions on No Nut November? It's a psychological operation to feminize you. True. true. I mean, think about it. So we're, you're told No Nut November boosts your testosterone, correct? Yes. And you know today when you go through puberty, that is the time your body will need the most amount of testosterone for your entire life when you hit puberty, correct? Yeah. So when you hit puberty, does your do you suffer from erectile dysfunction where you can't get a heart on, or do you have wet dreams? No. When you hit puberty, you have a wet dream, yeah. right? Yes. You're, so you already know to increase your testosterone production, you have to actually not do no nothing. You have to do the opposite. Right, you know, when when you when your body needed a massive amount of testosterone for puberty, yes, you had to start nutting, so that the glands and muscles responsible for creating testosterone could start working out and get strong enough to create enough testosterone for you to go through puberty. Now that you're done with that, other men have convinced you to allow those glands to get weak again, and go back into a prepubescent state. Yeah, makes sense. Yes, it does. My, I'm going to make a video. My, 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 I'm going to get off. I'll make a video for you specifically, and then I'll get off. Can you tag me in the video? No. God, God oh, bless okay. you. Have a great day. Bye. Yeah, you too, man. Bye.